Shopify Impulse Theme Customization Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make some customization to the well-known Impulse Theme. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. Now the first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com. Once you are here, you are going to sign up for the account or if you have an account already, you are going to just sign in and then you are going to visit your admin dashboard. So once you are on the admin dashboard, we're going to visit here at the online store under the sales channels. Click on the online store. Then we're going to see the first thing that will pop up, which is the themes. Here we have the dashboard of themes. Uh, usually you are going to see the theme that you have already chosen or choose here on the theme library. But in our case, we are going to visit here the library or the theme store. So we are going to click on visit theme store. Once you are here, you are going to search for the impulse theme. So since it is a very well known theme, you should not uh get some issues finding it so if you don't find it right there we are going simply to search for it so we are going to uh search for it by just clicking on the uh here search as you can see icon we are going to type in the name which is impulse then we are going to see here the first suggestion which is the theme itself we are going to click on it now we are going to see the result in just a few seconds. And here we have it. So here we have a highly expensive theme. As you can see, it is a no joke for $380. Uh, here you can go ahead and get an unlimited free trial within this pack before uh, accessing the payment method or before buying the uh, theme. Uh, here you only need to pay if you want or you are going to publish the theme so for their views it has a very high rating also a very 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 good positive uh, review we have 90 per 95 percent uh, positive uh, review so all we need to do is to uh, try the theme click on try the theme or you can go ahead and view the demo theme uh, here we are going to set up the trial now we are going to see our theme or the theme of impulse added to our theme library as you can see it is a labeled theme trial so we are going to click on customize and then we are going to see the theme pop in here every image is or where right there uh, found on the uh, store or on the library will not be appearing right away because these or those images were some stock images and will not appear into a store you're going to get the store as it is as stock but without the images so everything is customizable right there the logo the catalog the items and etc so let's begin here with the header as you can see, we have a uh, very uh, simple and also uh, very uh, visualized header. As you can see, we have the home button or the home uh, item, which is on the menu. We have the catalog, the contact. Now, if you integrate your store right there and you are going to buy it, or you are going to buy first this theme it will be integrated within your store so the pages that you have on your current theme for example i'm going to go do here a comparison with the dawn theme that we own for example here we have the catalog and the contact here we have already implemented those or shopify has already implemented those you're going to see them right away here we have the same name also like that here we have some as you can see a announcement bar and this announcement bar uh, has its own animation so we have the heading and we have the text so we have two options which is going to be a slider here we have uh, for example hassle free 
and free shipping over uh, I don't know certain amount and like that here we have the announcement bar and we have the announcement itself so no worries about the announcement bar it is a fully customizable now we are going back right there to the first section which is as you can see a slide the first section you are going to see here from the header here we have the header and these are the elements that are implemented or on into your whole theme we have the first thing the header we have the logo the announcement board the free shipping text the hassle free return and we have the pop-ups these pop-ups can be activated or deactivated right there the age verification pop-up the pop-up itself it contain a sticky reminder that the client can get a 10 percent off which is a little will come in discount uh, for the theme or the template itself we have the first thing which is the slide and here we have a, a hero it is named hero we have an optional slideshow which is this one it will slide to the left right there and let you see here the uh, images so we have the desktop height we have everything set up you can go ahead and customize those for the images if you want to add the image you are going to click on the image itself then you are going to add the image right there so we are going to click on image let's add for example this one click on done boom here we have added the first image for the second one you're going to you can add multiple images by uh, hovering the mouse between the two lines as you can see then you are going to click on add slide and it will be added if you want to add a slide all we need to do is to click on the eye right there and see it right there a slash or um, got some as you can see here this bar so it will be here uh, invisible for the rich text which is uh, this section all you need to do is to ha hover the mouse about or on the element and it will take you there so for example for the promotion grid as you can see it will take me there here we have a rich uh, text section obviously you can go ahead and modify the text we're going to click on uh, this one we have rich text for example we are going to put here welcome welcome message like that here we have it now for this uh, particular area here we have a text uh, here we have the title or the header of the text or the heading and here we have the text itself you can go ahead and modify this text get for example a ai generated text you can enlarge the text or make it uh, smaller now for the next section on the template is the promotion grid here we have the two blocks of promotions you can add a third block or right there by clicking between these two and add whatever you are going to set for example here you are going to add a cell collection or simple or advanced banner whatever i'm going to click on the first one which is this one then we are going to see what do we have here we have a subheading a heading a text that is going to cover the heading right there we have a shop this which is the button number one uh the button number two or number one will take you to all the products the button number two is labeled shop all so the link is not set anymore we are going to add it to a collection for the image you can go ahead and add an image or a specific image right there maybe you are going to add all the images and see here if we can add something so i don't know about that but we can go ahead and add an image so let's go ahead and add this one i'm going to upload it and add it see if it works well now we are going to click on done boom here we have the image added the same process is going to be for the second one as you can see this one has a um uh, here we have a text and also a little overlay for the text to make it appear more so uh, these two are two different um content layers or uh here product uh contener as you can see but 
it is okay we can modify them and change them as much as we want for the collection list here we have as you can see uh, the collections you can go ahead and click on e uh, any of these uh, collections then you're going to select it you can select boom here it will take you uh, get the image of the bundle the second thing also select collection boom do it like that you can put a title on it and also you can go ahead and set for example here we have home page here we have the name of the collection so we are going to ignore this here we have it now we have a promotion grid which is another promotion grid but this one is a little bit wider as you can see it will cover up all of the uh, uh area where there for the presentation we have a sale collection which is here above uh, or under the announcement or, or promotional grid we have to here uh, some as you can see uh, sections or blocks that will contain a uh, maybe a discounted product to attract more of the customers now for the featured collection which is a standard one we have a little bit advanced uh, as you can see here um, placement or image or or, or here you can set uh, some product placement like that large image with a text box we have also blog post you can go ahead and uh, publish the blogs right there or the blog post right there on the main page which is the uh, home page we have the option to add an, a map or right there you need to add uh, the uh, photo or the screenshot of the a retail store that you own from Google Maps then you are going to put this address and the working days and hours uh, that was for the uh, template itself now for the footer we have a simple footer as you can see we have a footer promotion we don't have something that is not promotional on this theme so everything is going to be here to promote the uh, products that you own and also the collections for the impulse theme it is very well known that it is a very very hungry high conversion getter or uh, conversion transfer for the customer to for the potential customer or the prospects to uh, clients because it has a lot of promotional uh, grids promotion uh, here as you can see uh, headers we have slideshows professional slideshows as you can see it is used only for the high-end uh, stores so when you know how to set this up for the images and also the products the variety of the images the color matching you will get a, a complete and also a very good conversion rate on this website so that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one